top of the morning. <coughs> <coughs> I was going to do something St. Patrick's Day themed today. I'm wearing all the green and everything. I feel really rough today, so welcome to This Week in Linux. <laughs> Looking in my cheese photo booth type app, I uh, definitely look like uh, Luigi in this hat. Came to realize last night that I hadn't done any news in several days, so here we go. John O'Bacon posted on his blog yesterday that they are unleashing the Ubuntu Loco directory. If you're unfamiliar, Ubuntu has what are called Loco teams, meaning local community teams. In the states, they've got them in every state now. In other countries, they've got them in a lot of countries. Up until this point, you've had wiki pages for these, you've had team lists, and you've had mailing lists. Scattered information all over the place, really hard to find what you're looking for all in one location. So what they've done is they've created loco.ubuntu.com to allow you to centralize all that information. This gives you a full listing of all the information about every loco team that's available. It has a new events list so you can use it to plan your loco team's events. It has a venues list so if you have a place that you always meet you can list it there. And they're working on team collaborations and other mashups. I know when I started using Ubuntu a few years ago, it Having a loco team here was really helpful. The guys were great. Who knew that in a couple of months I would actually be helping lead the organization? That actually brings me to a point though. The loco team's idea is a great idea if the people leading it are dedicated. The loco team where I'm from, there were actually three people that started it. Two of the people who started it are still around. One of them is actually doing work on the, the team. But our loco team actually turned into a lug instead of staying as an Ubuntu-only loco team. We merged with another local Linux user group and became a larger group. We've had a lot more meetings since then. We've had a lot more interactivity. But the problem with this is if you don't have dedicated people, the teams just die out. So you end up with a bunch of dead links, a bunch of people that are not reachable, email addresses that don't work. Case in point, some of you guys may know the Linux whiz kid. He actually featured me on his channel when I was first starting out. He's since then become a good friend of mine. He's a very young guy. And because of a lot of the problems that he's had with his Linux installs, he's decided to move back to Windows 7. Now, if the loco team in the state that he's from had actually been active, there's a much better chance he could have gotten the help he needed, he could have met up with somebody to, to get it worked out, but with no one else there that's reachable, there's no not even really a lug in his state. I got on their IRC channel, I asked, is there anything going on, is there a meeting this kid can come to where he can get some help? They apparently haven't had meetings since 2008, which is about the time when the loco team actually started. Back when the loco team that I'm a part of started, there were actually really strict requirements to become a loco team. You had to have dedicated members who had done some work in the community who were willing to make that sacrifice and really push forward to get the loco team going. After the first couple of months of that, they decided to push for the entire United States which means that there are states like Alaska probably has a loco team and there's probably like one person in it, if any. I remember reading that Maine has a loco team that hasn't met in two years or so. The list of defunct loco teams goes on and on and it's all because they were in such a huge rush to have loco teams in every state they didn't bother to populate them with people that were actually going to stick around and do the work. Basically the point of this is if you go to loco.ubuntu.com you should be able to find the local team wherever you are, be able to get in touch with them and if they are defunct maybe you can get in touch with somebody at Ubuntu and take over the team if you're interested. Anyway I'm gonna go take some medicine and go to work. Stop sounding like Barry White on here. Oh yeah. St. Patrick's Day, baby. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>